Hello BookTube! Welcome to Lizzie Pay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and it's day four of October. Veto and cozy th thon So uh, what I'd like to do today is to uh, do another segment of my summer book haul. I've only got a couple left and I'm going to save one for Saturday. Sort of combine it with the Saturday shelfie. I had originally kind of thought I might go ahead and do my September wrap-up today, but I've had <laughs> kind of a rough 24, last 24 hours. I had to work late last night at my theme park job and I got home super late and then today I was subbing at a kind of an unruly middle school situation which has altogether left me exhausted so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this book haul which I think will be a little quicker and I will um, probably do my September wrap-up tomorrow so um, Part of what made me uh, tired this morning is that after I got home from work, after midnight, I still had not done the third Cozyathon challenge. And it was to read a book entirely by candlelight. Well, I knew I wasn't going to read an entire book in one night um, because I, I wanted to, you know, read one of the books that's on my TBR. And so I thought I would at least get it started. But I was so sleepy that I couldn't even get through a whole page. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to revisit that tonight. Uh, the fourth challenge is to read with um, fuzzy socks and a cozy jumper. So I may do that and light a candle. I don't know. That sounds really hot <laughs> for here in Florida to be wearing um, fuzzy clothing and lighting a candle when it's already hot. I may have to crank my air conditioning up quite a bit to, in order to do that. But we'll see how it works out. So um, then what I want to do for this video though is to show you my uh, Christian books that I got this summer that are non-fiction. Uh, none of these are fiction unless you count some of the short stories that are kind of uh, inspirational and actually I think those are probably mostly non-fiction as well. Uh, well, true stories. So I have quite a variety though really. I've got some inspirational stories, some um, humorous books, some devotional books, and some relationship books. So um, hopefully you will find something that will interest you in this haul. Now all of these are used. I didn't even buy any of them that I uh, recall. I believe all of these except maybe one or two came from the big haul of books that we got at the beginning of the summer that we got free from a storage facility. They had had an auction and someone did not clear out their unit and there was 30 bins of books. So I brought them all home, picked out some to keep, sold some in a yard sale, donated a lot of them, and we have quite a few that are set aside for eBay. Some of those we've already sold. So these are, like I said, the non uh, nonfiction Christian books that I kept. Okay. And along with that, a few just kind of inspirational stories. Not necessarily Christian, but, but clean. All right, I got two chicken soup books. Uh, chicken soup for the cat lover's soul and chicken soup for the cat and dog lover's soul. So those should be good. I have read maybe one or two chicken soup books um, and maybe one that was similar to that, but I don't know that I've read that exact one. And then I also... Uh, found this James Harriet book called Cat Stories. I don't think I've ever read any James Harriet books. I have a few on my shelves. They've been, they, they come highly recommended and I need to read one. This one's pretty small, so maybe I'll start with this one. Then I have a little, uh, inspirational stories that are more of a sewing and quilting theme. It's Velma Sewell Daniels Patches of Joy and I may already have this but if I don't then I will read this and pass it on to my sister and if I find that I already have a copy then one for me and one for her so it, it'll be perfect. All right, the next three are humorous books. I think this one came from the stuff that I brought home from my mom's house, Ain't God Good by Jerry Clower. I love Jerry Clower. He is just fantastic. I uh, used to listen to the record albums of his comedy that we used to have when I was growing up, and I just love him. Then um, Patsy Claremont is great. I've heard her speak at Women of Faith. Uh, this is God Uses Cracked Pots. And I don't think I've ever read any of her books. I have gotten some before and passed them on to other people. And I may have a couple of others on my shelf. But this one looks cute. And then this one is called More Holy Hilarity by Cal and Rosa Samra. And so I'm guessing that there was a 
um, an original that was just called Holy Hilarity, and now we have more of it. <laughs> so I will probably pass this on to a gentleman who used to uh, be from the church that we used to go to that disbanded. He was always a, a joke teller. He loved to tell funny jokes, especially, you know, uh, always clean, and sometimes that had a, kind of a Christian twist to them, and I thought he would probably enjoy this, so I will probably pass this on to him. Okay, now I have a few books that are kind of on relationships of uh, a couple of different kinds of relationships. I have this Gary Smalley book. My husband and I have listened to a, a, a tape set of his, a VHS set that we've had a long time. We've listened to it or watched it several times called Hidden Keys to Loving Relationships. And it's funny. It's sweet. It's just really a good video series. And I don't think I've ever read anything by him. Uh, this is Loving Each Other for Better or Best, and it's by Gary Smalley. All right, and then speaking of Gary, I've got a, a tape here by Gary Chapman called The Other Side of Love. Gary Chapman is the author of The Five Love Languages. And then I kept this one because it was too banged up to pass on to anybody else. Uh, and it, I thought, you know, I might take a look at it. It's called What Wives Wish Their Husbands Knew About Women. And it's by Dr. James Dobson, who, of course, is the creator, the founder of Focus on the Family. And then this one I thought looked really interesting. I found this in our little free library. It's by Lisa Welchel called Friendship for Grownups. And you may recognize Lisa Welchel. Of course, she was from the Facts of Life. And before that, she was from the uh, Mickey Mouse Club that I remember as a child from the 70s that gets constantly overlooked. And um, she was one of the Mouseketeers. The next three are... Um, memoir, biography type. I have two by Corey Ten Boom, The Hiding Place. And he sets the captive free. I've only read Prison Letters by her. I don't think I've read those two books. I've seen the Hiding Place movie, and I am really interested to read the Hiding Place, especially. Uh, Casey from uh, Basket Casey Reads, and also as Casey Sees It, she has talked about uh, Corey Ten Boom before and talked about how the Hiding Place is one of her all-time favorite books. All right, then I also am very intrigued about Fanny Crosby. She wrote a lot of hymns, and I have another biography by her. Uh, this is from the Heroes of Faith series, and it's just a biography of Fanny Crosby. And then I've got a few devotional type books. I found this one, Daily Word for Weight Loss by um, Colleen Zuck and Elaine Meyer. And then here's just a couple of little Bible study books. They are from, uh, they're by Lucy Swindoll. They're from the Women of Faith series, Knowing God's Will and Growing in Prayer. And these, like I said, these were free in the big amount of books that we got from the storage unit. And then Secrets of the Vine for Women. This is from that same little series as The Prayer of Jabez and, oh, I forget what the others are. I read um, at least one of these last year during, or maybe a couple years ago, during a rib set. And they're just little quick, easy, little inspirational books. And then here is another uh, tape that is by C.S. Lewis. It's the audiobook of Mere Christianity. And then I have one more. This is by Billy Graham, Unto the Hills. And I decided when I saw this that uh, this is going to be my devotional book for 2018. For 2017, I've been reading Jesus Calling, and I don't like to read the same book two years in a row. So this one, when I flipped through it, I saw that it is uh, dated. It's got a... Uh, a reading and a scripture for every day of the year. And so this is going to be my devotional book for 2018. And I'm excited about it. So that is my Christian nonfiction book haul of the books that we were blessed with over the summer. I did not have to pay for a single one of these, and I'm very thankful for them. So come back soon. Um, hopefully tomorrow I will kind of give you the rundown of my September wrap-up and probably also just kind of the stats for my whole summer before I start doing some uh, series reviews and book reviews and things like that of some of the books that I've been reading the last few months. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day, read a good book, and God bless you.